Hello and welcome back to Shire Farm and the On The Map Challenge. It is now early June and our crops should be ready, or our wheat at least, should be ready uh, come July. But we do have a lot of grass ready to harvest, or ready to cut, should I say. We are harvesting it and we're going to hay it this time around. And we also have all the grass over there from where we were removing trees. Speaking of which... There was a lot of trees. We sold a lot of trees. We sold a lot of wood. And that's why we are nearly at a million pounds. Speaking of which, whilst removing the rest of the trees from that field, or from those fields, um, there was a lot. I think in total, I ended up cutting down 17 trees. I did that field, and I did some trees on a few other fields where I, where I planned to remove some bushes, or where it's going to make it easier to get equipment around. Uh, 17 trees, most of which were these oak trees that give out a lot of wood chip, or a lot of wood at least. Um, took a long time. I got, I was keeping tally, I got to around about 30, 35 trailers of wood chips, and I got fed up of doing that. So, I thought, you know what, we recently brought the carpentry. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on in there. And, if I can hit my trigger, you'll see that we are now producing furniture from wood and the carpentry is now at level four i've upgraded it so i could keep putting more wood in it costs i think i think this was the cheapest thing to upgrade it's really quite cheap if i upgrade it again if i uh or if i uh click on upgrade 84 grand so that was pretty good that's producing, and um, we've got a couple of pallets out round the side. We'll come out and have a little look, see again. Down here. So we're now producing furniture, so we've got other things going on now with the farm, which, you know, is a good thing. We need to start doing some other things. We need to diversify, and we need to look into how some of these productions and such get going. But also, we've kicked start the, uh, the Golden Field Grain Mill. That's back up and running, producing flour, as you can see. If we jump back into here, I brought over the rest of our oats. There's 12,000 uh, litres left in there. Uh, I think we had about uh, 19,000 litres. And uh, so, yeah, so I brought that over. And I also brought over a full trailer. So I think it's like 35, 40,000 litres of wheat. We had about 120, 130,000 litres, I think. Uh, maybe a bit more. I think we might have 140 because I fed some to the chickens as well. So, yeah, I brought that over. And the flour was up and going. There was a little bit of barley in there anyway. So that's in there. And uh, that's full. So I think, I think I might upgrade that as well. It's about 100 grand. Yeah, 105. So we'll upgrade that. So now we can use this to keep churning out. And we'll produce more flour because flour sells well. Hopefully the furniture... That we make from the wood will sell well. I don't think it makes any difference if it's made from wood or planks. Planks is part of the uh, platinum expansion. Uh, we've got nothing going on with our straw accessories yet. The water is there, but that's waiting. And these are just auto selling. They're ticking over in the background. I missed what we made off our milk. Um, that that was to tick over while I was chatting or doing other things. But yeah, that's that's pretty good. Our animals. While I'm pottering about. You see our chickens, they're all fed. They're pretty happy. Health's good. I think we've got some old chickens. 51 months. I think things stop aging at about 80 months. We do have the uh the the overfilling or the overcrowding of pens. I think death is turned off though. I can't remember. It might be. So we're selling any extra chickens that do come in. Although I don't think they will be with uh, their age. Reproduction is pretty much null. Uh, sheep are doing fine. They're all fed. That one has a bale sitting on it, so that's why that one's maxed out. And our cows? They're good. Plenty of TMR. Still plenty of hay in there. Uh, they should probably get a feed in a little bit. Or they may need some mineral feed. We may have to check that. It's hard to tell. You don't know until they stop getting fed by the robot, and then it's like, oh, mineral feed. Oh no, there's plenty of mineral feed in it. Oh, that's it, yes, I've I brought mineral feed. 
We put mineral feed in. I think I refilled this one as well, because this is the mineral feed one. Uh, 100,000 litres in there. Our seeds and stuff should be going down. Seeds, got 4,000 in that one. Can't wait for that one to empty. 8,000 in there. And 21,000 litres of lime. We'll use these bags when we do our next little lime and try and get rid of them. So anyway, we are going to be going out Gonna to spend today, probably uh, June two as well, doing some, doing the grass, doing hay, and I wanna get the the vehicles and stuff brought up for uh, what I wanna do. Oh yeah, I've installed auto drive. I'm trying to learn auto drive. Um, yeah, so I wanna I wanna get the hook trailers and the containers and things like that. Why, why are we not getting it? It's like swapping out of one side <laughs> and not out the other. Let's just see. We there we go. But <laughs> well, we don't want any swap because we're gonna gonna ted it. So yeah, I want want to try and get the uh, the hook trailers, probably a truck, and maybe three or four hook trailer containers. So I can leave them, like I said uh, the other episode, we're going to change the way we do harvests and stuff. I want to do with hook trailers, leaving uh, large bins by the side of the field, get some some auger wagons and let course, course play and, and such um, do the harvests so we can focus on one field ourselves and have workers completely autonomous on another. So we want to try and get the equipment for that. That was why we did or why I did all the uh, all the trees and tried to uh, do what I can with that one. Hopefully it's going to work out. We've had a little play with it in my Let's Try American Farming sort of series over on uh, Twitch. Now I've been bringing that over as well, so uh, hopefully uh, you've seen it, hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's, it's done better than I thought it was going to do. Bringing over old streams generally doesn't generate a lot of attention. Um, but it seems the audience audience is there for us, so I'm really looking forward to getting an American series started over here, like for proper. That'll probably come um, April time. Give me time to get things. I want to try and get a few more episodes extra done here, get this progress progressing a bit further, and and yeah, and, and have a bit more fun on Balam, and then we'll uh, we'll look to do the American thing, either running series one so every other day and then trucking at the weekends or something I'll try I'll try and work it three series of farming plus trucking is a lot plus I'm trying to do you know my other channel as well and the streaming I'm trying to be a busy man but it's uh, hopefully it's all gonna come together and it's all gonna work out right I hope <laughs> I really wanted to so I'm having a lot of fun with it when I've been doing it um, I know I've been quite quiet of, of recent weeks. I uh, had a whole week off a couple of weeks ago, but I've just been so busy, sort of personal life-wise. I've had a lot going on. We've still got things to come, which is going to be pretty challenging. But I want to try and get back to uh, the regular schedule. We should have had a full week. I did have content recorded, uh, but I didn't have a full week of content, and I, I hadn't done any sort of recording for nearly 10 days, I think. So I just thought, right, we'll just scrap that whole week. We'll have a week without a week where I don't have to worry about it. I just put out the uh, the restreams, if you were, of the old Twitch, and uh, just sort of put them on there for people. Because not everyone want to follow me on Twitch. Not everyone wants to do all the platforms. Like I've said, that's perfectly fine. People do what they want, but they don't necessarily what mean they have to miss out. I can bring it over here, and people can uh, can watch it here if they like. That's absolutely fine by me. But I'll be I'll be mowing all of this myself, and then uh, we'll look to do uh, a tether. I'll probably get a worker on the tether, and then a worker doing some wind rowing, and then I can follow behind with a baler, or I may do the wind. 
the wind rolling and then have a worker follow me in the bay, whatever works best. But we'll do that. But we do do a lot of this. So I'm going to shut up, we'll probably have a little time lapse and uh, I'll come back to you in a bit. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall So it is now June 2nd, had a busy day, busy day out in the meadows, but we've also made four grand off milk, which is good because we've spent probably a hundred grand on new machinery. I'm going to quickly tab through and show you what we've got going on. So the mower is now on the last meadow that I think we're going to cut. The, the split meadow, that's been cut, it's been ted and it's currently being windrowed and that meadow over there, our first meadow, that's been cut and that's now currently being ted. We brought a new tedder, this one is a little bit wider, uh, it's the, uh, the Cavernland, I think it's about two, three meters wider than the one we have, more than the one we had, we still got it, we'll keep two. Uh, because in future we may need to, depending on how much more grass we uh, end up purchasing. Uh, but that cost, I think, about 20, 25 grand. So that weren't cheap. And then next up we have uh, one of the uh, 870s, and that's got the Class Boss, the one that we always lease. I've brought it. That was, I think, 90 grand. So some money has been spent it's just uh, if I can find my cursor sorry about that then get rid of this as well so yeah that's that's all been going on so what I want to try and start now is some uh, bailing which we'll probably do uh, shall we take take the 870 We do have a square baler somewhere. Seems um, auto drive pops up for every new vehicle when you get in it. Don't really know what I'm doing with it yet, but it's installed and I'm going to learn. So it just sort of. I, 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 I added some more mods to this save for um, trailers and um, hook lift stuff and augers and things like that. and. <laughs> I can't be bothered to scroll through the 1400 mods that are installed on, on this mod folder. So they're all on. And uh, yeah, that was what I did. I just clicked deselect, then select all, and uh, went with that. But we are going to have some crazy amount of hay bales now. We have so much. I need to keep track of the work that they're doing. Now, we're going to be doing this ourselves because, well, mainly because on the big field, the new meadow, uh, because it is still three meadows, I couldn't set up a worker to do the whole thing. Well, I could, I could have just driven round and, and marked up the uh, the field edge, but that's not me, as I don't do things simple like that. So, in in having to do all of these individually, is why we got the the. <laughs> The time-lapsed montage, I guess you could call that, it was a bit of everything, wasn't it? Hopefully, hopefully, if it comes out all right, you saw a bit of everything. 
And then once I'd finished, I just moved them onto the next field and, and set a worker to it. Ooh, unfold it. And yeah, so they've just been rotating around <laughs> as I've been doing it. So that you can see, sort of real time in what I was doing. The, the fact that we've got this done three times, that done <laughs> twice, and, and moved over onto the other fields as well. We've been, been going for a while. Let's just say that. Let's convert straight into. Uh, hey. Oh, we're happy with that. We're happy with hay. That's what we're doing. Now we should have a lot to sell. That's what I'm thinking. We want to fill up the hay barn. We want to get that filled. Filled to the brim with bales. And then the one over by the chickens. And. Um, I didn't show you, did I? Our sheep. Loads of sheep. So we've got wool, 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 we've got wool to move. I've also got to say, I put down a second shed. This one we're going to fill with wool. We want to get that filled with bales. So I want bales in the big shed. I want bales of hay in this one. And then we can sell all the others. Now, I might not cut this one. I did say I wouldn't. I might not cut this one. I might split it in half, maybe. Just cut half of it. You know, it, there's money to be made. And there's hay to be had, so that could be a thing. And I'll quickly just jump back to my here. So we've not got many in here. We may not have that much to sell because I want to get this filled. And then we're not going to worry about hay for a while. And we'll just do our fields. And then maybe once a year, depending on how quickly we get for it, once a year we can do a silage harvest. In, because I know I said we wouldn't do back to back. But if I only do one a year, instead of doing like three cuts, then that's not not really back to back. There's just no need for us to cut the grass all the time. So why should, why should we? I know it makes money, but it slows down everything else. And while we're cutting grass, that means we can't necessarily spend the time to do beets or potatoes or, or whatever it is that's going to be time consuming. Uh, we've got to get some vineyard set up. We've got to get some olive groves set up. There's lots to do. We're making money, so that's that's you know that's a good thing. What I'm going to do as well, while I can't kind of do this here, can you do it here? Not sure if that works in. I'm stuck. There we go. I want to reset that. That should be reset now, because <laughs> in my looking about. I'm not too worried about getting much baling done here. I do so much baling, I'm going to probably do all the baling off screen over the next sort of couple of episodes because we don't need the grass anymore this year. We will do a cut right at the end of the year and that'll be our silage done and then that'll be a load of money again. So it doesn't matter if this takes me all year to bale this up and store. Um, what was I saying? Yes, purchases. In the, I was looking, because obviously I've been buying machinery, We've got a hooklift truck that's on sale. So we're probably going to buy this one. Because that's that's what we're going to need. Um, plus we'll have a hitch so we can pull other things, definitely. Uh, engine set up. We want it to be pretty powerful. We want it to pull some stuff. I'm not too worried about visors. We do have to have gearish colours though, don't we? Because this is me. What is this one? That'll be fine. Not worried about that. So we're going to buy that. So that's still 70 grand. Okay. So these are the grain containers I'm looking for. Um, in colours. We want them to stand out, don't we? Let's have a, a bright yellow like the truck. Let's have a horrid. Um, but I want a few of them. So perhaps I'll, <laughs> I'll buy a yellow one. Uh, we may get different different ones along the way. Is that Deutschfar? It's not Deutschfar. Where's Deutschfar? Green. There it is. We'll buy a green one. And then we'll buy a black one. That's pretty cool, that. Buy that. And then because our harvester at the minute, the one we have holds, I think it's like 10, 
thousand liters, uh, a a auger wagon. Doesn't need to be expensive. It uh, doesn't need to be big. Uh, Twenty four thousand. That's going to get nearly. Well, it's going to get two empties from our harvester, and then we'll be able to get like three of these, or two of these. Sorry, in the the field bin. So if I just purchase a couple of these. And we'll uh, split the colour on them, just so I know where I am in the fields. It's the main reason I want to buy the different colours. For no other reason than that. And that is a fair, old, a fair old bit of equipment purchased. So after a quick tab over, here it is. We've got the Tatra hook trailer. Now I've got a couple of different hook trailers. If it turns out that these aren't going to be big enough in the end, and we want bigger ones... I've got some that will pull um, bigger uh, grain, not like grain bins. I'm going to call them grain bins. I'll call them field bins, but they're not. But yeah, uh, we got. I've got bigger ones, but I think this should do us for now. Like I say, we've got a long way to go in the series. You don't need to monster stuff straight away. Say so these are a good size. There's a few of them, so we will be getting some more tractors as well. I think it's 150. Uh, horsepower to pull them so we can get a couple of medium tractors and add to the fleet but in adding all this extra stuff all this extra machinery we need to find some space to put it so we're gonna have to look at losing some of our land to uh, put down some sheds because i don't like stuff just laying around if anyone's watched me for any period of time you'll know i hate having machinery just out there i don't like it it's just under a shed is nice in a shed even there uh, we've got a little bit of space but I think we get ourselves a nice shed either round the back of the farmhouse or even I think what I call our first meadow we could sort of reshape some of that and we could store some equipment there I don't want to store it down there where we've got our productions uh, there is there is some sort of shed space down opposite that, but then it's still so far away from the main farm, and we're here. When we, excuse me, when we expand, and once we've spread the farm a bit further, sorry, I've got really bad hiccups. Um, yeah, once we've spread that a little bit further, then we can use that extra storage once we buy up that plot of land. Uh, but for now, we need to expand where we are a bit. So that might be something we look at in a bit, but I'm gonna spend a little bit of time trying to get some of these bales in again I do a lot of this with you and I've got a lot of this to do uh, so I'm just going to do a bit of a time jump and probably bring you guys back just after midday and hopefully I'll rotate some of our workers around as well by then so uh, I'll see you in a bit well it's now coming up to quarter to twelve and we have 77 bales plus we had nine before I reset the bale counter to 86 bales off this combined <laughs> meadow now we're not going to be putting grass back in here because we've got that other big meadow um, the other side of our other big meadow over there but that is going to make an awesome <laughs> soybean or uh, canola field or, or what, whatever we choose to put in here 78 <laughs> there we go <laughs> beautiful so many. Now, I was having a little think as I was moving my vehicles about and uh, just rotating the workers earlier on. It has got some little piles on here, but I'm not too worried about that. Just over the road, you can see it. If I get my little pointer out, through there are some sheds, and that is literally, if we open up the map, just opposite us. Now, I'm not sure what... Ooh. That entails a few plots have uh, got some meadow and some other things. What's that? 200. Hmm. Let me get rid of that. Yes, yeah, so that's just two grass and it's that potatoes. That is potatoes. How, how far gone are the potatoes? Oh, they're withered. That's fine. Yeah, because nothing's growing, is it? It's just me. Um, not ready for potatoes yet. So I think, rather than <laughs> losing bits of my farm yet, although this bit 
is is looking to be flattened i think we could flatten that section and build on there but that might come as we expand anyway but if this has some sheds on it for us i'm going to buy it okay if we don't like them we can sell them there's nothing there for us to jump to so i'm just gonna get this baler we just get rid of that get this baler onto a different field and then we'll go and have a look at what we've brought another bit of land a big chunk of land at that as well wasn't paying attention earlier as i came through with a mower clipped the tree spun into that field through the bush and i lost a little bit of crop but these things happen i've still got to decide on the shape i want to do on that big field i think i've had many different ideas now I haven't saved any of these routes, so I am going to have to do all this baler myself, and that's why I'm thinking it's going to be done off screen. But I'll, I'll run over and we'll see what we've purchased. I'll tell you what, we we may have to get a little farm run around, you know, like the little Mahindra or a John Deere Gator or something like that. We may need... Nah, it's going to be a bit of a chore if I have to run around on foot all the time. Could have driven over with the tractor, but the tractor's got stuff on it. But this... This will do for, uh, even if it is just for storing those uh, those grain bins, as I'm calling them, my field bins, the hook trailer stuff. I might go in the editor and get rid of some of this stuff, though. Uh, we've got a lake here. Not we're going to do much with that. But we've got withered potatoes. These aren't bad sizes. We can put some soybean or, like, a soybean, always soybean. Um, yeah, we might dig up all of it. Don't need them little meadow bits. But yeah, this this could be where the uh, the field equipment comes and lives, or other equipment that we don't necessarily use so much. The field equipment obviously will get used, but well, I think that's a good idea. But I mean, we dump and store our root crop here if we wanted, but we could even probably sell these and put proper root crop storage in there that would probably be better anyway yeah i think that's a pretty good purchase and like i say it's more land it's more of the map we now own and that's the target own the map so while we were in the cash splashing mood not that we're going to be doing that for a little while again yet were there any small tractors going cheap that's quite that's quite a big tractor a little run around we don't want that Small harvester. Not really. Not really, is there? I mean, that's that's a lot of our money. Even even as good as that probably is. That's from the extreme pack as well. That's why that's expensive. That'll go uh, 46 miles an hour. And it's only a 7R. And it'll do 450. I don't think we need that. Like I say, a lot of that stuff was taken out. I might have to remove some mods again. Um, mainly the, like the American stuff and, and things that we're not going to use, but yeah, there's nothing nothing there that's going to be of much use to us at the moment. So, let's have a little crack at this. I haven't used an IT runner since FS17. So I'm hoping I hope it's going to be nice and clear and concise in how I unload this is not right. So, slide it back. It can't be that hard, can it? Uh, so, took it on. Bring it back. I think these are the right side. I think they'll fit. They may be a little bit too big to hang off the back, but we should be good. They, I think there are bigger ones. Like I say, I've got lots. Even if we get a bigger one, I think as long as it isn't ooh, oversized, we should be okay. Like I said, I can just grab these and put them by the side of the field. Hopefully, if the course play works properly with uh, emptying the, um, the harvester into an auger wagon, and then it should then find this bin and the auger wagon should empty itself and then go back to collecting from the harvester. 
this will at least give us, like I say, what, two, four, six, maybe seven harvest empties, because we'll still be able to hold two empties in the... I don't think they've gone too far. Have we gone too far? No. Um, whoa, what's your bush? I don't even know where our new bit is. Is it down there? Nope, it's down there. Right. Literally opposite. Oh, that's a tight one. But yeah, just storing these down here, I think it's going to be uh, a nice little touch. Something different in it. It's not what we were expecting to do today. I, don't, <laughs> I was expecting just to be out in that grass, which I have done. But I think we need to add a little bit of something else for you guys. Right, just pop these bins in here. But if I unleash it, unleash it, unload it. Now I don't think that should sway about too much as I reverse. How will that unhook is the next thing? Because it didn't unhook as I thought it would. Figured it out. It just needed to be <laughs> on the container. No, it didn't, didn't need to be as complicated as I make it. These things never need to be as complicated as I make it. Making sure you're on the right bit of equipment does help, Mr. Barquois. It does help. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend the rest of this day, or this afternoon anyway, um, bringing the equipment from the yard down to here. And then I'll spend a bit more time getting some more bales in. I'll probably bale up all through the night. Get this one rolled as well. Get a worker on that as soon as the tedden's done. And then hopefully July we'll be ready to harvest and test out this uh, new method of uh, clearing our fields. So hopefully you've enjoyed today. Hopefully it gets sort of condensed because I've done quite a lot. Uh, hopefully I can condense it down and make this as short as possible and still enjoyable. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.